Hello, my friends. Welcome back to my channel, Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie, and if you are new to my channel, hello, welcome. I hope you'll consider subscribing for lots more diamond painting content. And if you are back, welcome back. Today I'm here with another small shop haul and a little bit of happy mail in this video as well. In these videos, I like to just share with you the different orders that I've had come in from different small shops in the community. I like to try out a variety and you'll see me test out some of these products in upcoming whip and chats. Um, and I do have a few different new shops to share with you guys today that I'm really excited about. Um, if you own a small shop or know of a small shop that you would like me to try out, I'm always open to suggestions to take a look and make a purchase. If something catches my eye, if nothing else, I'll favor to shop and kind of stay up to date with what they're up to at least. Um, so email me or leave a comment on this video if you have any suggestions. Um, and if you'd like to take a look at any of the small shops that I'm showcasing in this particular video, I'm going to have all of them linked below in the description box, along with their social media platforms so that if you want to support them, even if you're not looking to make a purchase at the moment, that's a really good way to support small shops as well as stay up to date with new releases or products they have coming and whatnot. So let's go ahead and get into it. I'm going to start off with a package that came in from um, one of my subscribers and friends and one of my Patreon members, and this came into my P.O. box actually a couple of weeks ago, and I just had the chance to go and pick it up, and I'm filming this video this evening. So uh, this is from my friend Alyssa, so thank you so much. I honestly don't know what's in here. She just said, I'm sending something to your P.O. box, and I was like, oh my gosh, thank you. So we're going to take a look together. Just make sure there's no receipts or anything that I'm going to... Ooh, that looks like it's maybe minders from how it's packaged. Let's see. Okay, I don't want to spoil anything. Oh, it's just a thank you note. Hi, Katie. I hope you enjoy this one. Let's take a look. I don't know if I see the small shop name on it. I'll double check with her. It just has a person's name on the front. Um, so I will, I will double check with Alyssa and I'll let you guys know. If there's, oh wait, I think I see a business card. Okay, never mind. We'll be good. Oh my gosh, oh, this is so perfect. I wonder if she knew that this is literally on my favorites list. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, but I didn't buy it. So this is perfect. This is from, from Kim's Creative Needle Minders, Kim's Needle Minders on Etsy. I actually didn't know she had Facebook, so I'll have to go give her a follow there. Um, oh, there we go. Of course, mornings. I am a huge Supernatural fan, and so this is fantastic. Oh my gosh. So obviously that's just modeled after the song. <laughs> I love it. Alyssa, this is perfect. Um, I, yeah, she, she clearly knows that Supernatural is, is, is my jam. And I love collecting minders, especially Supernatural minders. So thank you, thank you, thank you. This is incredible and I'm so happy. <laughs> so um, thank you, Alyssa. Now, let me get into it with, uh, I have some new shops in here that I really want to make sure that I that I share with you guys. Uh, let's start with this big box because then I can shift that out of the way and I'll have a little more space to work as it is. I'm like, let me just, let me just move all this just, just real quick, just real quick. <laughs> so this is from Cat Proof Diamond Painting Trays or Diamond Trays. I have had Cat Proof Trays on my, on my list to try out for quite some time and um, I, I I didn't realize, this is just my own fault, I didn't realize that they had like designated release days. And I was like, every time I go, the colors that I would have looked at and the sizes I would have wanted are sold out. And someone mentioned to me, they're like, oh, their releases are on this day. I was like, oh, perfect. So I am trying out a few different sizes of tray and I have ornery cats. And so this just felt really apt. Okay, here's my order. So I have three different sizes in here. Okay, perfect. I need to save that slip because it has a coupon on it. Looks like there's a thank you note included. Let's take a look. Oh, that's so cute. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, look at these stickers. Thank you for, okay, so uh, this is actually, I, I couldn't remember if this was the first or the second order. Even though I haven't opened and tried these out yet, I actually placed two orders and this is my second order. So I'll show you the first order kind of in a future small shop haul or something. I love those kitty cat stickers. Um, I just really love the concept of these trays a lot. So um, this size, let me get the verbiage right, is called the long boy, which I love it because it's a longer tray. 
let's take a look and it comes with these lids and I think it's so fun that the lids are printed and then I just thought that this oh my gosh there's a little cat glitter in here that's so funny so I thought that this filament was really really beautiful okay so it says on the bottom long boy and it has the the, the website and everything uh, so this is the style of tray where the opening is and this one was in the color I'm looking again oh it doesn't say on here oh cafe mocha ombre I just thought it was such a pretty filament that I thought I would try this and I'm curious to see what it'll be like to work with this this long style tray I don't have any trays quite like that style and then I got this little baby tray which is called a extra small kitten <laughs> And I thought this could be cute to like store trash drills in when you're working or like a really highly confetti confetti heavy section but I thought that the filament on this was just beautiful so pretty there it says on the bottom kitten has the lid again and then uh, this one I, I'm really curious about as well. This one I think is called the Large Fine Boy. <laughs> this one is in the filament. It's in the Rainbow Edition filament. And there's that bottom again as well. It's a little hard to read in camera. A fine boy. <laughs> I love it. And I just, I love the concept of this. So this is like a really loose, this is not 3D printed. It's just like a plastic and it just pops on. And like I said, I have, I think this works for cats, like pets, but also maybe like small children. I've seen videos, like some of their promo videos where they literally are just chucking the trays and you can see how well the lids really do grasp onto there. And so I'm really looking forward to trying that. Okay. I skipped the little goodie bag here entirely. Jeez. So uh, gravity works, but so do we. Thank you for your purchase of a cat proof diamond painting tray, the discount code. So there's their socials. I'll link them below. I'm really looking forward to trying these trays because um, I haven't tried out a new tray, co tray company in a minute. So they included a little free squishy, give that to my kiddos and a cute little minder. Adorable, love the peach. So yay for a new company. Oh my gosh, look at the, the, the confetti. It's like different coloring of cats. That's so cute, that's so cute. So definitely stay tuned. I am planning to use these trays in my next whip and chat. And you may have actually, depending on when I decide to put up this video, you may see these trays in use before you see that whip and chat, or before you see this particular video. So anyway, it'll be fine, it'll be fun. <laughs> so um, next up, let's see, what should we get into? I have another new shop in here. Let me see, is it this one? New, is it this one? Yes. Okay. I think this is the, uh, the other new to me shop. Okay. So, um, this one is from excuse me designs and I haven't had the chance to try out this shop yet. Again, they have been on my list for a while. I'm really trying to kind of go through my list of shops that I've been meaning to try out. I had to put a little bit of a pause on some of it. Um, and then I just sort of was out of the habit but I'm trying to get back in. Okay. So I see a receipt. Let me pull that out. I take just a really quick look but okay perfect uh they sell scented putty and i'm 90 percent sure that i have not tried this shop before i yeah no i checked my order history and i i really don't think i've tried them before but i'm having a little bit of deja vu it's possible I've tried the shop before. If I have, it's been a long time. Um, so we're just gonna pretend like this is brand new, if nothing else. And I've lost, I've probably lost the putties, even if I did, but we have scented putties. Now I notice when you go into the different listings, um, for most, if not all of the scents, they offer the option of a version one or a version 2.0 formula. I got one of each, so we can try both. Um, I also noticed not on either one that I chose, but on some of the others, there was the option of choosing how it was packaged. You could either get it in these little, these little um, caddies, or oops, you could get it in like a baggie instead. So this is the version 2.0. Feels really thick. Oh my gosh, it smells amazing. It smells exactly like Fruit Loops, exactly like Fruit Loops. And then the banana pudding one, I think is this one they said it was softer. Let me just drop that. I mean, yeah, it feels a little bit softer. I'm gonna try both though. I think they had said that the version two was better for ABs. Oh my gosh, that smells incredible. Banana pudding. So I love to use putty in my multi-placer. 
And so I wanna test out both of these and see what we think. There's a ton of putty shops out there now and it's just fun to work with scented products, I feel like, honestly. Um, let's see what else we have. Okay, so one other shop in here that I think has been a minute since I've shared anything from them and I'm excited to share with you guys. This is already open because I had to cut this open to um, use one of these things. Okay, so this is a shop called Mopins. Oh, there you go. There's the name of it. I think I maybe have shared them before. Um, but Diamond Art Club recently released their Marvel branded diamond painting kits. And I immediately went over to the shop to get some, um, some pins that I could convert into cover minders, which there's one I already converted. <laughs> uh, so I, I, I turned this into, um, I actually haven't put the magnet on it yet, but I did clip it on the back, so I'm burdened with glorious purpose. So I snipped off the pin parts, and I just need to put magnets on there. I have a video where I shared how I convert enamel pins into cover minders, um, and I will link to that below. I feel like it's a really fun way to open up lots of possibilities, <laughs> but I just went a little crazy. Uh, so I got this one, which is all I need as possible to go with my Doctor Strange kit. And there's the pins on the back. And then I have the I Love You 3000, which I actually realized I'd already bought this pin after I bought this one. So I may be doing a giveaway at some point. And then I can do this all day. <laughs> I didn't actually get the Captain America kit, but I may. If nothing else, I just, I really love this bar and I think I needed to get to free shipping. So these are all from the shop Mo Pins, and they have a lot of these ones that are like bars that have like various like sort of sayings on them. Um, but yeah, they have a lot of fun stuff. I actually I have this one. I have that one. So lots of fun. They're also on Instagram. I follow them on Instagram as well. So yay, some fun pins. Like I said, I know I cheated a little bit and I already, already got into that one. Speaking of open packages, that's what we'll do next. <laughs> this package is already open because I also needed to use it for my glorious purpose low-key kit. This was from DP with Sparklers. And I knew that I wasn't gonna get to the small shop haul <laughs> unboxing until after after that kit had released and I had worked on it. But here's what happened. Um, I knew that I wanted to bling up this certain area of the Loki kit, the Glorious Purpose kit. But yeah, so I went through and I picked out like the DMC. So I was like, okay, these are the different DMCs that I wanna change that are in this, this Mind Stone. And then I went over to DP with Sparklers and I was like, I want crystals. <laughs> but I did go a little crazy because there were not exact DMC matches for every color. These are the five colors that I ended up using, but they're, they're just, they're so nicely labeled. You get a lot, like a lot, and they're really nice quality. They're really, really nice quality crystals. But I just got a really huge variety because I wanted to be able to hold them up to the original DMCs and, and see which truly matched the best. These are the ones I ended up not using that I'll probably just include in some of my Patreon quarterly gifts and, or maybe some in my stash. This is a crystal AB. Most of these are crystals, but there were a couple of ones that were a little different. So it's got the crystal effect, but it's also got an AB finish. This one was a crystal jelly. I almost used this color. I love jellies. And then we had a glitter. <laughs> There's like glitter in, embedded like in the resin. So like I said, I went a little crazy. <laughs> I think that the owner, Tima, was very sweet and saw that I went a little nuts. And she did include some blue quad cubes as well. <laughs> so this is a really fun product that I haven't had the chance to actually try out myself yet. But they're, they're quad cubes. They work like crystals. So they have that mirror backing. And they have that effect on the top. Oh, some of them are ABs like this one. These take up this space of four square drills. They work really well in like eyes or if there's like stars in a sky or something like that. The spacing didn't end up working out for me to use these in my Glorious Purpose kit, but I thought that was so sweet that she included those and I wanted to share with you guys so that if you didn't know that she had these, these can have a really striking, striking effect. <laughs> and I, I definitely need to find a reason to use these because they're so beautiful, 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 beautiful. Um, here is, she did include like a couple little freebies, little bracelet, and of course a little sticker, a sparkler sticker, <laughs> and a bracelet, and then there's their business card. She has an amazing, amazing variety of special drills if you wanna bling up your canvas a bit. 
she's been around like her shop has been around for a really long time and i feel like is just really well well established and well known in the community so definitely go and take a look if you haven't taken a look recently because she's also all regularly adding new things which is which is super fun so yay crystal special drill mail <laughs> we have a lot of packages to get through we still have several so go grab a snack grab a cup of coffee if you're like oh i gotta i really should be have settled in for for the long haul anyway next up you guys this is an order from crafts with crashly and I decided to order some printed release paper because I had ordered printed release paper from her in the past, but I can't find it. I don't know where it ended up. I'm so confused. So I was like, well, I guess I'm just gonna go do some shopping. Um, so here, I'll show you in just a moment. So she did include a note. Let's take a quick look. Let's see, oh, thank you card. Oops, something's like sliding out. Okay, so thank you for ordering. And then we, oh, they're moving off of Etsy. Okay, so I will link to their new website. I ordered this from Etsy, but I gotta go check out their new website. We have some freebie stickers, thank you. And then their business card, Crafts with Crashly. There we go. And then some freebie release paper that has their logo on it. So this is what they do, you guys, is they, they make release paper that they do designs on the back of. Um, and I do want to say that I ordered this a while back and I just found out like a week ago, they announced that they were now making their release paper with thicker release paper. And so clearly I'm gonna have to go over there and try some of that so we can do a little little comparison. They also included, excuse me, a roll of free washi tape. And this is a little minder. That's so cute, it looks like a little M&M. <laughs> So let me show you the prints that I got because I use release paper specifically on my cross stitch conversion project for how I work on it. But I thought this one was so cute. Look at this one. That's the pattern, it's reading dragons. And everything's above board. The artwork that they're using and everything, okay, it all is all printed the same on there. Um, and I got a couple of different sizes. They have two different size options. This one was, let me take a quick look, in, the 2.625 inch by four inch size. This was the smaller size. And then we have the larger size as well. And if you get the smaller size, you get a set of 20. The larger size, you get a set of 10. But this one, I just, mermaids. I really should have unboxed this sooner so I could have used these for the Mermaids and Magic event. But I still have so many mermaid kits that this will be perfect. And maybe even though I don't normally use release paper on my non cross stitch conversion kits, I don't know, maybe I'll have to bust it out because it's just so pretty. So I wanted to get both sizes just to kind of see which I prefer working with. But these are the two prints that I got. And like I said, though, keep in mind that they have since um, apparently upgraded their release paper to be a little bit thicker. So I'll try to pick some of that up soon uh, so that we can take a, look, take a look at it together and compare a bit. So anyway, we have lots more to get through. The next three packages. <laughs> Um, are gonna be some kind of putty. So we're gonna have four different kinds of putty from four different shops just in this video. And I guess last last small shop haul that I did was highly pen themed. We're just gonna call this one really the, the putty edition. And honestly, I love to cycle through all of the different putties. A lot of them, it just depends like on the weather or my mood or the scent or what texture I wanna work with or something. Um, I'm an equal opportunity putty and accessories user. So this package is from, this is from Enablers Outpost. They make a scented putty that is called Enablers Outpost Chit. It is not a bad four letter word. It's the Romanian word for putty. Some instructions on how to use it. Little thank you note from them. And um, I think that this is the most recent version of their formula. We'll take a look at it. Got some fruit snacks and a cute little sticker. <laughs> And I grabbed a few different scents. So check out these melons, Nostalgia. I think we're gonna get some cucumber melon and Siren Song. So let's take a take a sniff and I wanna show you what these look like as well. I'm also loving supporting them right now because they're, they're trying to raise some money for one of their doggos to have some surgery. So go take a look. Oh my gosh, I can smell that from here. So that's the color on this one. The color may vary. Smells like watermelon. I just want to eat it. Don't eat your putty, you guys. <laughs> Do not consume. That smells incredible. Incredible. Okay, let's sniff the cucumber melon. I'm just going to sniff. 
Yeah, you guys, that's a dead ringer for that Bath and Body Works scent. Holy cow. I love it. I love it. Uh, I find that putty lasts a really long time in my multi-placer. Okay, so that's got a little bit more of a floral scent to it. I do like it though. Uh, I use putty specifically in my multi-placer and I find that it lasts a nice good long while and, um, and it goes a, a long way. So even though there's not like, a t it doesn't maybe look like a lot, it truly does go very far. So <laughs> rest assured that like you are definitely getting like enough of the product to really get good use out of it. All right, so yay, Enablers Outpost. Take a look at what they've got there regularly restocking and adding new scents. So next up, this is from Sensible by Design. It's been a minute since I've ordered putty from them. Their putty is a little bit uh, like, I'm trying to think of like how to describe it. Maybe like a little bit thicker and drier. So it might work for those of you that live in like hotter climates actually. Okay, sorry, I'm, I'm making a mess here. Okay, so you have, I got a couple of different scents. Oh, you have some freebies. I love these. <laughs> uh, so, oops, and I just popped that caddy right open. So their caddies, I feel like they've actually looked like this for a while. They have like the blue tops or this kind of top. Cute. And then I got Apple Melody. Is this the wax? I think I got a wax and two putties. I'm pretty sure this is a wax. Yep. I got one of their waxes to try because it's been a while. It smells... It's not strongly scented at all, actually, and I don't mind that. So if you're scent sensitive, this can be a good option. That's a wax. And then we've got um, s'mores. I'm a sucker for anything s'mores. And this is definitely a putty. It's got like the swirly going on. That smells a little, just a tiny bit stronger, but I really like it. That's a really nice scent. And then we've got strawberry and coconut. They had a ton of scents when I shopped. Uh, I really like that swirl a lot. Okay, that's a lighter scent again. So I do like that a lot. So if I'm if I'm working with putty that comes in these caddies, I usually use like the flat end of my tweezers to kind of scoop it out, especially if I'm wearing nails like this that I don't want to gunk up. I'll use that to kind of scoop it out and then roll it between my fingers to get it thin and kind of then again use the flat end of the tweezers to put it in the um in the multi the multi placer that I use, you'll see it in a whip and check. So I think I'll I'll probably be trying out these in my next whip and chat, but the concept would still apply for the Sensible by Design putty. So yay, I have tried Sensible by Design before, and I've had a really positive experience with with their putty. So definitely recommend checking them out as well. <laughs> Let me shift a couple of things because we are definitely running out of room, and we still got stuff to get to, including some pens. Because you know, if we don't have pens in a small shop haul from me. <laughs> We say that it's a cry for help. Anyway, this package is the last of my four putty related orders that were in this small shop haul. This is from another company that I have been a longtime supporter of. This is from Randa's Crafty Corner. And she's always adding new scents. Her stuff is just a really easy go-to. So I ordered this a few weeks back. Got a little line sticker included. And I just, I don't even know how many scents I have at this point, but I got jelly bean and kiwi strawberry. So let's give it a good sniff. I think this was part of her Easter release. She had some Easter releases. I think jelly bean sounds like an Easter, Easter release type scent. So hers comes in the release paper. You get a square of it. That smells so, 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 so good. Very fruity and sweet. And yeah, hers and Enablers Outpost actually over here when they come in this package and flat like this, Often I'll just peel this back and I'll like put it on a flat surface and just push with my multi-placer and load it up that way. So this is, yeah, the thickness usually works out well with Randa's Crafty Quarter Putty to do that. And then the Kiwi Strawberry, do a little sniff. Did you know that you can just pop this open with, without ripping this, just in case you were curious? Okay. Wow. Yeah. Kiwi strawberry. That's a, that's a stronger scent. I feel like, but I, I love fruity scents. It definitely smells like a nice mix of kiwi and strawberry. So yeah, just going to add that to my little Randa's crafty corner putty collection. <laughs> all right, you guys, I have three more packages to open for you today and they are all pen related. So, so buckle up. If you're a pen fan, I I've got your back here. So first up, I have a package from a shop that I have not ordered from in a little bit because their drops tend to sell out pretty quickly. What do I, I want tweezers for this one? Okay, here we go. 
This is from Chroma Pens on Etsy. Like I said, they sell out pretty quickly. And there was this one particular pen that I remembered seeing when I visited my friend Jacqueline. She's Diamond Art Sparkles on Instagram. She's a really close friend of mine and we regularly enable each other with our accessories. <laughs> but she had this amazing, beautiful pen from Chroma Pens. And I saw that they were releasing another one of that same blank. And I have my alarm set because they previewed it on Etsy. <laughs> it was like, I have got to set my alarm and attempt to get my hands on this gorgeous pen. So Chroma Diamond Art Pens. So they're a small business. There's some tips on how to replace your tips or fit your tips better. And then we got a little, some little candies in here. Thank you. Now let's get into the pen itself. So handmade with love. I'm a bit of a, bit of a pen fiend. I know a lot of you guys have been asking for a pen stash video again, and I really should do that. Okay, so here we go. <gasps> Oh my gosh, yep, that's it, that's it. So look at this beauty, you guys. When I saw that Jacqueline had a very similar pen blank, I was like, that is way more gorgeous in person because you can see the sparkles really well. The turning is beautiful. I have a few pens from Chroma Pens and the turning is always absolutely stunning, really ergonomic and comfortable. And the blanks that they turn tend to be just so pretty. So, so, so pretty. But like I said, it's been a while since I've snagged one from them. So I'm excited that I have this one, you guys. So pretty. Amazing. Amazing. All right. Next up, I have two pens from Butterfly Effect Wears. And I feel bad because I picked these up like this one. This first one I'm going to show you guys, if you can see. This shipped out on the 7th of March. It's been a month. It's been a month. So I'm like, what colorway was this? Do I even remember at this point? I try to space out my small shop hauls and which packages I open and which small shop haul. And so unfortunately, sometimes that means that there are just long delays. <laughs> but let's take a look. So, all right. Butterfly Effect Wears does weekly drops and they actually recently started doing putty as well. And it, they usually do one that coordinates with their color of the week, their colorway of the week. Am I, I'm still taped somewhere, I must be. <clears throat> there we go. Then they also will sell some individual putties in other scents. And so I'm pretty sure this probably is one that I grabbed both, but I'm gonna take a look. Okay, yeah, there's an inclusion here about the dot dot putty, so about how to use it. And I really like it. I've gotten, I think, one that I've been actively using so far. And I'm a fan. I am definitely a fan. So, like I said, I don't even remember which colorway this one was. But what's the putty? Oh, that's right. This is the Rainbow Sherbert one. I'm so excited. This colorway, too, was like... Oh my gosh, totally caught my job. So again, actually, I lied. I told you earlier that I had four putties to share with you guys today. Make that five, five different putties. Look at the on color theme butterfly. <laughs> so cute. And then everything is always color coordinated. Okay, so this colorway caught my eye immediately and I knew that I really wanted to try for it. So dying to see it in person. <gasps> oh my gosh, that's so pretty. <gasps> I'm in love. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. Okay, that's even more stunning in person. Look at the detail, you guys. I'm in love. Isn't that such a rainbow sherbet? 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 <laughs> kind of colorway. So gorgeous. Butterfly Effect Wears has some of the shiniest, look at that reflection, the shiniest pens. I don't know how they do it. The polish is amazing. These colors are everything. I'm so incredibly happy. That turned out so beautifully. Pun intended, it turned out. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm the worst. Okay, last but not least, we have one more Butterfly Effect Wears pen in here. That's gonna be a nice, nice chunky small shop haul, but I think that these tend to be some of, some of your guys' favorite videos. And so I hope that this was a really fun way to get to discover maybe some new small shops. I have, you know, some old favorites in here as well, but I'm excited to try out some of these goods from these new to me small shops. So yay. All right, let's take a look and not show you my address. Once again, I definitely, I definitely got the coordinating putty because I think you get a bit of a discount if you add the putty on to the pen itself. 
So I'm like, yeah, I mean, I like it, so why wouldn't I? Okay, so we've got Peacock. Oh my gosh, that's right. Well, let me show you really quick. I didn't open up the other one, but let me show you their putty, by the way. When you open it up, it they, they like color it. <laughs> to be on theme i love it it's so pretty so it matches the pen and matches like this scent vibe like that looks like these peacock colors so let's take a look at this actual pen again do you see how they color coordinate everything the attention to detail is is it for me they do their releases on saturdays they usually announce the blank itself early in the week and then they preview all of the pens turned on Saturday mornings. So, oh my gosh. Wow, that is stunning. Look at the sparkle in that. Wow, okay, that's gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Love the colors, love the shine, love, do you see that shimmer? get out <laughs> so another gorgeous pen from butterfly effect wears i love it i absolutely love it so that is this week's small shop haul this week's or just this general small shop haul um i really really loved getting to share all these goodies with you guys today there was a whole lot of putty i hope that that was fun for you guys here let me just shift this there you can see everything so um to kind of recap we got this we have this minder that's from kim's needle minders thank you again to Alyssa. I'm excited. I have these different sizes of trays from cat proof, cat proof trays that I'm going to be trying with you all. This new to me shop, which is excuse me designs. We're going to try out their scented putty. And then we got some pins from Mo pins, some putty from Randa's crafty corner, um, some release paper that's printed from crafts with crashly, a whole lot of sparklers and crystals from DP with sparklers, some putty from enablers outpost, a pen from chroma pens, and um, some putty from Sensible by Designs, and then some putty and coordinating pens from Butterfly Effect Wears. So you guys take a look into the description box below so that you can take, uh, take a visit, take a look at these different small shops as well as their socials to follow along with what they're doing and what they're releasing. And a huge thank you to these small shop owners for creating such beautiful products that we get to enjoy with our diamond painting experience. So yay, like I said, if you have suggestions for shops you'd like me to check out, um, I can't make any promises, but I will definitely take a look uh, if you wanna send any to me, either in my email or as a comment on this video. So thanks so much for watching, you guys. Feel free to hit the subscribe button if you wanna stay up to date with future small shop hauls. I will link also to a small shop haul playlist that I put together down in the description box. If you wanna see past shops that I've shared and unboxed, um, that would be really fun. You should go do that. <laughs> so anyway, my friends, I hope you have an amazing rest of your day and I'll chat with you in the next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.